Cam J with the heat. ATU. Put me on the camera, I be smiling, dog. I don't think I feel like it can get no better. I'm a boy with switches, I be wildin', dawg Mess with Louis Bottoms with you uh, Put me on the camera, I be smiling, dawg Alright guys, welcome to another video Sea fishing one again I'm at the same beach as I was the other night Had a good session on that one as you would see in the video We had two ounce, cracking ounce Seven pound was the biggest, which was my first one I had And then as soon as I baited up another rig and chucked it out, it like more or less instantly within a couple of minutes, it went again and then so I had two on the beach, as you see cracking so I've got the rods out now I've got hard back on um, since the conditions are not, are not too good at the moment but they're getting better, they're getting better it's a northwesterly at the moment, but it's going to be going down to a southwesterly a bit later on. So I think Owen's got something, unless it's weed. I'll show you. Yeah, it's weed. Back in because it's raining. There's my rods. I haven't got the uh, left hand one out yet. Just got the right hand one up. I just got the right hand rod out and then it started raining. It still is now. So I'm going to wait until the rain buggers off and then I'll get that other rod out. But yeah, using my mags. I've got a mag 2, mag 3, as I always use. So I've had that mag 2 about six years. Still going strong. I've got um, any things I've had wrong with that reel. I'll tell you. I'll give my review on it. The uh, star drag, the washer thing inside the st um, the clicky thing inside the star drag that went. And um, what else went on it? Yeah, that was it. Just that. Just that. So I uh, I bought a second hand one, really cheap. And it weren't that much good. It, it was, it was trash really. But the side plates were good on it. So I put the um, the side plates off of that onto that one because my other ones are wearing out after six years old. And that's start brand new again. And I put the stuff, the uh, clicky thing out of that one into that one. That's you know, start, start a brand new reel again. It runs lovely. Yeah, not too bad then five two fives. Good reels. We've got Dawa um, sensor, orange. Uh, what is it? Twenty-four pound, I think that line is. I thought I'd go a bit higher on that one, and I, I prefer it better than the 18 at the moment. It seems a bit more stronger, which I do like. And on the other one, I've got um, Berkeley, and that's the Mag 3. And that's in 18 pounds. I'm using tapered leaders on both reels. So them rods are Forsyth TF gears, 15 foot, and I've had them uh, for the same about six years. I think I've got them more or less the same when I've got that reel. I did try the leader icons M Sport Match. I found them a bit too a bit floppy for me. Not you know not 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 a stiff rod. So I found them light, there was a nice light rod and lighter than them but I like the stiffness in these rods so I've gone back to them. So they are a bit heavy but I just like the way they handle and the way they cast so they suit me. They are a big rod though. But yeah. Look at that. Oh, has he mullered it? Bloody hell, you did have sink on then. Yeah. You felt it. it. Was it a yeah, hound? Mm. It was? So, yeah. Does it pull you back and everything? It was pulling me right going towards the water. Was, was it? Serious? Big gun. You had a hound on, son. And then Josh had to take over because he wouldn't pick it up, would he? He wouldn't pick it up, so I had to get it <laughs> and it come in close. You see it and it's. Well, the hound? Went. Really? 
Did he have one, Josh? Did he have one? Yeah. One lost it. Nice. There you go. Shank. One of them things, isn't it? Wacky big one as well. It was a big gun. Oh. You see it splash and it fucking. I was like, ah, oh, it's right in. And then I had to clear all the seaweed as well. I mean, obviously, it's going to clog all the reels up, isn't it? Yep. So you know win tonight. Well, that's it. You win some, you lose some, mate. It, mate. Can't have it all, can you? Where's that night, Jay? Hopefully, I'll get one now. That wind's got up more, isn't it? Yeah. Look, someone's oh, trash around there. Someone's can. Dirty bastards. We pick that up and take that home with us. We don't like leaving rubbish. Well, I'm going to get that other rod sorted out, and I'm going to get that out now. So hopefully, we get something. Oh, we just did, but he lost it. I don't know. Never mind. Shame. We need one to keep this time. You lost it. No, Owen. Shame. No. Never mind. Owen. Your first hound Never and you mind. lost there it. Lo there's loads out there. Let me see if there's any tears in his eyes. I don't know, mate. There might be. You crying, Owen? No, not yet. You upset about that one? No, not yet. My name's not Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's carry on fishing. Speak to you soon. There's our hard max for the day. Big bucket load. I've got some peelers as well in the flask. There. In action now, Jay. down that I don't know if you can get inside his gob there zoom in on his gob see that probably swallowed that crab perfect Well guys, it's turned out to be a lovely evening now. We've got Owen's rod out. I've had a hound already on the right hand rod. I've got little taps on the left hand rod. So 
I had a little hound that fell to hard back. Nothing on the peeler because we've got a little bit of peeler with us today. Hopefully we get one on the peeler. Because I seem to be having them on the yard back. Nice to have them on the peeler. Yeah. There's only about four pound a hound. About four pound that hound I have. So hopefully we get a bigger one. Using pulleys and pulley droppers as always. Quite long rigs, very long. Fives and sixes. So I'm holding better with the sixes at the moment. Current's building up a bit, but it's it's getting calmer by the minute. So I'll go back to fives if it stays nice and calm. Less current run. Uh, we'll see what happens anyway and I'll come back when I get something so speak to you soon guys right this is how I uh, prepare my Namex weights I've already started I've got the prong the two prongs out the wires whatever you want to call them and I'll get the, and then if you want to zoom in get the pliers that way like that so you're holding the wire in like that come down to the bottom and then just pull away towards you pull towards you like that and then it'll end up like that and make sure they're all leveled up do the last one so they're all looking like this and then to finish it off the tips grab all of the tips just bend them slightly towards you and that will make the kind of like an anchor point so they hold better out there like that if you want to bend them out a bit more you can but that's perfect for me and that will just literally anchor in better on the bottom then of the tips up like that. I just thought I'd show you how I do that because I don't think there's many uh, videos on YouTube that show you how to do your weights, Namix weights or any uh, weights like this. So there you go. Got another one down here as well which I've just done. These are six ounce Namix. I'm about to put them on two rigs now ready to go out which I've got set up really down here. This has got a five on there at the moment, but I'm going to change that to a six. There's the five, the same thing. So there we go. Back guys, first time in it, eh? 
Do you ever get kissed when you have? Just come out of his mouth when I want it. We've got it up on the, on the beach. This is a pull it in, wasn't it? Well, get some pictures of this. Quite a nice size. And put it back. Quite a nice size, mate, isn't it? Where did the... Uh, bring him over here, right? Where's, where's the... Uh, I'm out. Nice hard back going out guys on a pretty dropper rig. I've had to ban ban the prongs on the weight as you can see to help keep the uh, help keep it anchored in. So out it goes. Because the current's a bit too tight. I'm gonna bring the other rod in now. Move you over a bit. It's hard to hold tonight. I might put sevens on, but I don't like casting sevens. Bit heavy for my liking to, to really whack it out, you know, you know what I mean? So I'm using sixes, but I'm trying to hold them on with like um uh hair bands. Like hold the grips, the grip the grips were really down tight with the hairband. I've just literally whacked that right hand rod right up. I don't know if you can see. I literally. Let's try. So that right hand rod there, I literally casted it right towards the um, right, and it's literally drifted round within seconds. That's how strong it is tonight. And the left hand rod, well that's holding just, just where I want it really. So I think it's anchored in now, that right hand rod, so hopefully it stays there. Well people, on the last rod now, packed away in the other rod. Too much weed tonight, it was diabolical. Every cast, loads of it, it was like a washing line of it. But at least I had the one. I had the one at the beginning, I had another little pup and um, a couple of doggies. I can't remember how many doggies I had. How many doggies I have, Owen? Five, isn't it? Six? Something like that. Owen? How many did you have, Owen? Three. Three. Turn your head torture. Three doggies. Ash had oh Ash had a ray. No. Yeah, Ash had a ray. That was probably what about what five pound, four five pound, wasn't it? Like that. He had that on hard bat as well, which is something that don't usually happen. Never seen one caught on hard bat. Ah, oh, 
fat was gone there. Oh, it ain't. Yeah, that was good talking. Yeah, sorry about that guys, my um, battery died. Where else were you? We were talking about my brother. He had a four or five pound ray on our back, which is something that don't I've never seen before. I have a ray to take a hard back, but there you go, it happens. I've heard of bass taking them and doggies and hounds, so that was nice to see um, a hard back working for, for a ray. It was a good mental five minutes near a couple of hours before high and then it just went dead doggies and the weed just kept coming and coming and it didn't stop and it's still happening now so I'm giving up now and calling it quits I still got loads of crab left look at this one should get Owen to run them down to the boats tomorrow and sell them Owen, should run these down to the boats, mate, and flog them. Get, 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 get 15 quid or whatever that they give you for them. Uh, yeah, well, they are then. Do you want to do it? No? Alright. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Don't know what's happening, but might be another hound sesh. So it won't be long before the spider crabs come on the peel, so there'll be a lot about. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.